Okay, so for question 19, we look at question 19, they say show this equation has a root between 1 and 3. Okay, we are going to show this. Then from the newton Russell method, uh, show the iteration equation. So we have to find, to show out the equation first. Hence, so we have three parts. First, showing. Second, use our newton Russell formula, show the equation. Hence, uh, given our initial value, calculate out. So we have to calculate until uh, we get our x value. So for the first part, when we say show, uh, normally we will use our the algebraic method lah, because we can see our interval is between 1 and 3. So A is 1, uh, so B is 3. So we're going to test, is it uh, this function gives us opposite side? If yes, that means there exists a root there. So means there exists a solution there. Uh, there exists an x there. So that's why you can see our initial value. We are taking the initial value in the between of 1, 3. So they start with the value of 2. So that would help us to find out the x value. So from here, okay, so first we get our function first before we start doing our showing. So from the equation, which is ln x plus x minus 4 equals to 0. So you can see when it's equals to 0, means this is our function already. Then we're going to differentiate it. Okay, differentiate on, saling isi perut, differentiate near the atas, differentiate x, dapat satu, differentiate nombor, dapat kosong. Okay, so differentiate dia siap-siap so that we can use our uh, Newton-Lesson method or we do it later also can. Or I want to focus it to the first part first. Okay, for the function, we're going to show it, it is a root between 1 and 3. So we're going to substitute x1 ln 1 plus 1 minus 4 so we can calculate so uh, from here well, we calculate ln 1 plus 1 minus 4 negative 3 so put a sign less than 0 then another value we want to test is 3 so ln 3 plus 3 minus 4 Okay, 0, 0.0. Make sure three significant figure here. Uh, so 0, 0.0 is not significant yet. 9, 8, 6, 1. Uh, so 1, no need to round off. Uh, so this is positive. So from here, we can do our conclusion. So our conclusion always similar to this sentence. So this sentence, we have to memorize it out. So actually, this algebraic method... Uh, or we can call it, this is Intermediate Value Theorem. Uh, intermediate Value Theorem. So this sentence is come from this theorem actually. So we cannot change our sentence, uh, uh, follow uh, follow whatever we want to do. So we follow our theorem sentence here, okay? We will say, since our F1 is negative, then our F3 is positive. Okay, so there has... opposite sign okay so after they have opposite sign uh, so you can see I have opposite sign there exists at least a root uh, so there exists a root between so the format of writing interval we can follow are uh, between 1 and 3 so we follow the question 1 and 3 Okay, then we're going to continue. Uh, we want to form the iterative, iterative equation. Uh, our newton Russell method can be uh, simplified until this format. Okay, so we continue first. For just now, our fx is ln x plus x minus 1 over 4. So when we differentiate it, okay. When we differentiate it, Sunny is a perut ron, differentiate at the atas, differentiate x tapat satu. So uh, from here we can simplify straight away. Uh, we can get same to the denominator uh, so that we want to substitute into the uh, formula also same uh, easier for Newton as a method formula and xn plus one it will become sn minus 
function. So ln xn plus xn minus 4 uh, divided by differential function xn over x plus 1 over xn. So here we're going to simplify our fraction in fraction here. Okay, so when you divide Sn plus 1 over Sn means you are multiplied with Sn over Sn plus 1. So Sn we move up. Then we look at our uh, questions. Uh, Xn is factorized up. Okay, before we factorize up, we get it to the same denominator. So Xn plus one. Okay, write it properly. Xn plus one s n square plus s n so multiply okay multiply multiply with this denominator become s n square then multiply with one s n then minus s n then we can factorize our s n Okay, so follow the questions where one we can move to the front. And then from here we can notice that we can simplify. Sn minus negative negative here should be negative here should be positive. So, 1 plus 4 equals to 5. So, this is what we get uh, shown. Shown. Uh, show the equation. Shown. Then, initial value is 1. Okay. So now we continue to next part, which is uh, our initial value x1 it is 2. Okay, this is given from the question x1 it is 2. So when I want to calculate the next x, so this 2 have to substitute inside our formula here. 2, 5 minus ln 2, 1 plus 2. So follow the latest formula that we already simplified that they asked here because you can see our question. They mentioned when you have a hands means we have to use this information to calculate this part. So that is our technique of answering. So if you using back the original uh, Newton Resume method, it will dif everything is different already. Okay, the the working is different, so it will not accept. Uh, because you are not reading the question, you are not following the concept of hands. Hands means we have to use the result. So this is our result. We use the result from the previous section to continue answer. So of course, uh, when we want to press our calculator, our formula also have to follow here. Alpha x in the black deck, 5 minus ln alpha x. divide by 1 plus alpha x then calculate calculate for the first number 
two. So ignore this. This is uh, the memory calculator from the previous calculation. So you just put in the value that you want to equal again. So we get 2.871. So how, how many decimal or how many significant we, we need? We read the questions. We read the questions here. They said three decimal in the final. So calculation plus two, I will put five. Okay, final is three decimal. So here is five decimal. So five decimal, it will be until two, three, because at the back here is five, we have to round off to four. Okay, then we have to repeat again. X3. So for this step, we don't have any a uh, short way to write our function so we have to repeat again in term in the pattern of this uh, so in the pattern of this uh, uh, we have to show this value is going to substitute again so we don't have shortcut to write it we have to rewrite it everything because we are not using the format of fx f prime x so 1 plus 2 point eight seven one two four calculate equals so two point nine two six one three six so six one four okay so count uh working Working of substitution uh, should compulsory write in two working. First initial, second, how you substitute this working have to repeat. Uh, have to rewrite it. Okay, the step here have to rewrite it again by using the formula. So for the remaining x, we just calculate only. Okay, the working no need to ask. No need to write again. We just take down the result. So we're going to calculate. So you can fill the you can fill out our result. We are getting closer because you can see from two we jump to the answer of two eight uh, two point eight seven, then we jump to the answer of two point nine two now also two point nine two. So we are very close already. So we just wait for the value to repeat again one once again. Calculate two point nine two six two seven. So we repeat the calculation until it can repeat. So once it's repeat, uh, that will be our final answer. 2.92627, yes, repeat, uh, repeated. Obviously repeated from the previous. So therefore, we can conclude, conclude up. We can do our conclusion up, saying that our roots, our x is 2.2. Uh, what is the, uh, we always double check from the question, 3 decimal place. Okay, so this is 3 decimal place, 6, 2. So 6, 2, 2, no need to round off. So this is the 3 decimal place request by the questions. That will be our answer. So if you want to get some confidence to see your answer correct or not, uh, this, that is a way we want to check our, check our X value whether correct or not. So we can, uh, Type this equation into the calculator so it will become ln alpha x plus alpha x minus 4 uh, equation together with the equal so equal is the red color one alpha equal is not this this is enter uh, equals to zero then we're going to solve okay solve because we are finding roots means we are going solve shift solve so just equal uh, then we come up yes your x value is this left right no 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 error if this l and r come up some value means your calculation here got error okay so you can see uh, this is as exactly the value that we want okay so means you have confidence that uh, our final answer is correct so this is how we get the confidence from the final exam so for the whole question it have 11 marks okay so normally the marks okay. 
a while i want to find okay so Okay. For the first part. Okay, so substitute value. Substitute value. Yeah, substitute value. We got marks and the conclusion. Then we want to proceed to the interactive equation from the Newton Rayson method. Different shape. Uh, we got uh, one marks concept here. Then substitute in, okay, substitute in. So this is our newton Rayson method. Substitute in and we try to simplify. We try to simplify and then get to the, get to the equation that we have here. So here already, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for the part of calculation, so first step, showing us showing us how you substitute your value of two okay so you must show us how you substitute your value of two and then you're going to uh, calculate until you have a repeat okay so when you repeat here we already accept your answer so finally you round off for us round us round off for us 2.92 uh, 